Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study adding within the same 10. That means that we're going to add a two-digit number and a single-digit number and the answer will not go over to the next 10. Examples will make this clear. First of all, I have here 23 plus 6. And so what we can do is add the 3 and the 6 and that is 9, right? And these two tens are not going to change. They are still going to be there, right? We have two tens and nine. So I have like a shortcut here. I can just add 3 plus 6 equals 9. The two tens will not change. Let's try it here too. This time, this box with T is a 10. So again, I have a model that shows me four tens and six, 46. And then I add two little dots or two ones to it. And so 46 plus 2, I have 4 tens and 6 plus 2 is 8. So the answer is 4 tens and 8, 48. Now let's check if you understood this principle. 35 plus 4. I can simply add the ones, the 5 and 4, right? And then whatever I get, I get 9. And these 3 tens don't change. We have 3 tens and 9. I can also show it to you with a model. Three tens would be like this, and then five little dots. And four, I add four little dots. And so I have three tens, and then five plus four equals nine. Now let's try this one without using a visual model. 61 plus five. Here I add the little dots, the one and five, right? And I get six. And so these six tens don't change. I have them there, 66. 12 plus 5 means 1, 10, and 2 plus 5. Now, again, I look at these little dots, the ones, 2 and 5. In fact, let me write here like a helping problem. We're going to solve this first. 2 plus 5, it equals 7, right? That's a helping problem. And then 12 plus 5 equals 1, 10, and 7. You see? 83 plus 3. Let me write the helping problem. I just use the ones from here and the ones from here. 3 plus 3 equals 6. And so the final answer for this would be 86. Over here, Giganta picked 21 flowers. Okay, Giganta is Mathis' cousin, a mammoth. And I tried to get him to come to join us in this video but he just couldn't come today, but I hope to have him for some other video. Giganta picked 21 flowers on a meadow, and Mathy only picked five. Why? Mathy, you wrote this? That's not a good word problem. What are you saying? He's saying that the answer is, I mean, the answer to why, is that he was so busy doing a puzzle book, okay? Some kind of math puzzles or whatever. So he only picked five. All right, I understand. You love math, right? But this is not a good word problem. We need to change the question. What could we ask if this is a math word problem? One thing we could ask is how many flowers they picked in total together? Or we could ask how many more flowers Giganto picked than Matthew? But we're going to do the first one. How many flowers they picked in total? For that, we need to add 21 plus 5. So that would be, okay, add now 1 plus 5. That's 6. And so these two tens are not going to change. 26. Over here is another way to add or write the addition. And this time, 32 plus 7. I'm going to write those numbers in these boxes under each other. So that 32 goes here. Three tens and two ones. And then the seven goes here, because it is seven ones. It's not seven tens. That's why I cannot put my seven here. Then I add two plus seven here, equals nine. And then three plus nothing is three. If you want to, you can write a zero here if that helps you. But it just is nothing. Let's try it again. 75 plus four. I will write 75 like this, 7 tens, 5 ones. 4 
means four ones. So it has to go here. And now I add in the ones column. One, five, five plus four equals nine. And then seven plus nothing in the tens. Seven tens. The answer is 79. Over here, we have three numbers to add. 42 plus 3 plus 2. Again, we have a helping problem. Think of those little dots. Two little dots and three and two little dots, okay? And add those first. 2 plus 3 plus 2. How much is that, Matthew? 7. Yeah, he knows. That's 7. So these, these four tens are not going to change. They are there. 47. Aha! Here's a problem that Matthew made, I think, right? Yeah, he made that problem. Lots of numbers, okay? A mammoth problem. And so here we again do the same. We find all these little dots, the ones, and add them. One and one and one and one and four. Okay, that's four and four. Eight. Yes, and then, so these nine tens are not going to change. They're still there. Ninety-eight. Now come these blue boxes. That means we are going to do alligator mouth problems, right? Oh, Marty says mammoth mouth problems. Yeah, whatever. Let's first solve what's on this side. 25 plus 3. Is that more than what's on that side? Okay, here 5 plus 3 is 8. And 20? 20, 28. Here 2 plus 4 is 6. And we have 10, 20. So 28 is greater than 26. Here 80 plus 7. Oh, that's easy. That's 87. 80, 82 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 7, 2, right? 87, 87. So then it means we put equals. Now here come some fun puzzles. Matthew, I hope you're happy. I made you puzzles. Okay, these are puzzles because the star is an unknown number. We don't know what number it is. So how can we solve this then? Well, we can because we don't actually need to add. We just have to figure out if this side is more than that side or the other way around. Some number plus 5. And then some number plus two. Which one is more? Which will be the greater number? I hope you can see that no matter what number this is, some number plus five and some number plus two, that this is going to be more. It's going to be the greater number. Because you add five to it, and here you only add two to it. How about this one? Star minus seven, star minus two. Which one is the greater number? You don't know what star is, but no matter what number it is, in fact, here's a little trick. You can try, let's just say that star is 10. Then which side is going to be the greater number? You can try it with 10. Then you can try it with 9 or 15 or 20 or 100, whatever. If star is 10, then this would be 3 and this would be 8. We see this will be more. And that makes sense because when you subtract from a number 2 or 7, if you subtract less or take away less, then you are left with more. Now this one is really a puzzle. Star plus triangle, triangle plus star. Can you solve that one? Both of those are unknown numbers. The triangle is an unknown number too. Matthew says they are equal. Did you get that too? Yes, they are equal because if you add a number and another number, or you add them in the other order, it's going to be the same result. How about star and triangle? Which one is more? That's a trick problem, okay? We can't solve it. We don't know. Because if star is 10 and this is 1, then star is greater. But if star is 1 and this is 10, then the triangle would be the greater number. Can't solve it. Impossible. Let's cross it out. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.